I'm Colleen with TechCrunch TV, and here with me is Gabriel Hubert. You can say that, yeah. Or Gabriel <laughs> Hubert uh, from Teleported. Yes. Um, can you just tell us what Teleported is? Yes. Um, Teleported is a real-time search engine and licensing platform that focuses on mobile photos. There are greatly underused content and tens of millions of photos are being taken every single day. Most of them go to oblivion and it's a problem because a lot of people would be actually interested in leveraging that content. Specifically media who are struggling to catch up with what's going on online, event managers who would like to see the users or the crowd taking part in an event like a concert post that content on their other web properties. Uh, web agencies and brands who are trying to better engage with the users who are sharing content on specific products or stuff like that. Great. And so I'm sure you hear this a lot that sort of images and photos are a very well saturated space with, with apps and, and technology. And so what exactly is it that makes you guys different from, I guess, a technology perspective? Very, very simply put, we're not at all a photo sharing app. Right. So the photo sharing app ecosystem is, and you can say it, yeah, saturated or definitely structured. And it's greatly interesting for us because our core competency is not to allow people to take photos. It's to allow people to find photos on one of the dozen services that we aggregate. So obviously Instagram, Twitter, PicPlick, Wifrog, Foursquare, they're all services that offer photo sharing as, 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 part of their, as part of their offering. And what we allow is third parties to search through all that content, both going back in time or in real time, based on searches like location or time period or keywords. What was going on around Times Square around midnight on the 31st of December? That's not a question that Twitter can answer because Twitter, you know, Twitter history is really not easy to access. It's a question we have the answer to. Okay. Great, and then this kind of allows potentially these individuals who take the Instagram photos to, to become sort of photogra professional photographers potentially, you know, have their work showcased in publications and things like this? Yeah. Um, what's going on right now is that great content is, uh, is taken, to, to put it mildly, and uh, there is little reward system for the original author of the photo. So we want to make it as easy as possible for somebody to reach out to the author live in real time and say, hey, your photo's great. I'm actually planning on compensating you for using it. Uh, so what kind of compensation are you looking for? What kind of license would you be willing to give me? And how can we have that happen in real time? Great. So absolutely, yeah, they can, they can generate value and, uh, and it'll be good news for them. Great, and so, so far I know you have a good bit of traction. Um, yeah, uh, so traction is interesting. The first product that we actually released was a mobile app, right. which we view as a technology uh, showcase application. Uh, that we released late, late October last year, and we have had uh, more than 35,000 downloads on that. Uh, uh, fairly good engagement. Um, right around Christmas, we realized that a lot of the power users of this particular application were interested in the raw feed of images rather than a packaged version. Uh, and uh, so we decided to put a lot more effort into the API, uh, the search engine, and uh, build out the licensing platform, which which are now the two products that we mainly want to focus on. So a search and streaming API that is cross-platform and a real-time search engine and licensing platform that allows you to get that photo and reach out to the author in real time. Right. And can you tell me about your, your team that's behind this and any sort of funding and things that you've had so far? I yep. mean, this sounds like a pretty ambitious, I mean, you guys are going up against the, I mean, you're getting into the realm of the Getty images and things like that. And so how have you done this so far? Uh, we've been talking with Getty images, so okay. we've been doing that. Uh, uh, so the funding is very simple. We're a seed camp company. The terms are pretty much on their website for that. And we've had a couple of angel investors, okay. uh, American angel investors join us later on. Okay. Um, the team is currently based in Europe. Uh, the co-founders, Stan and I, uh, both graduated in engineering in France and at Stanford. So this is where we kind of were flatmates and got the idea of starting something together. Um, and we're looking at all the best possible options, both funding and location-wise, uh, in the very, very near future. Great. And, and so you're here at Seed Camp sort of just talking to people and, and trying to figure out how to make this next step to go even bigger? Yeah, talking to people, having a great time, but also meeting. Well, we, we, we have to meet three types of people. We want to meet the uh, potential partners, uh, the photo applications themselves that we definitely want to be in touch with and then let them know exactly what we're doing with the content that their users are providing and see what kind of partnerships we can build with them. Meeting them both in New York and over here on the West Coast. We're also talking to potential customers and there were a lot of those in New York, there are a lot of potential customers over here in San Francisco too, and uh, also advisors and potential investors. So it's really all those categories of people that we're really interested in talking to. And if they ever want to reach out, then they can get in touch. Great. Well, busy guys. So good <laughs> luck. Thank you so much. Thanks so, so much for having us.